वेलकम टू आई यूट्यूब चैनल एम एस अकेडमी एंड आई एम ऐश्वर्य गुप्ता दी मैथ्स फैकल्टी और आज हम कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं क्लास टेंथ के चैप्टर रियल नंबर्स को जिसके बारे में हमने प्रीवियस कुछ वीडियोस में पढ़ लिया है जिसमें हमने पढ़ा था यूक्लिड्स डिवीजन लेमा एंड फंडामेंटल थ्योरम ऑफ अर्थमेटिक जिसका लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में मिल जाएगा चलिए आज कंटिन्यू करते हैं विद इेशनल नंबर्स सो टूडे वी विल बी रिवाइज Today we will be revisiting irrational numbers. Now, what are irrational numbers? All the numbers which cannot be written in the form p upon q, where q is not equal to zero, are known as irrational numbers. Those are the numbers that cannot be written. That cannot be written in p upon q form, where q is not equal to zero, are irrational numbers. For example, root two, root three, root five, pi. These are what? These are some irrational numbers. Now, if we talk about how to prove that whether a number is irrational for example if we have to prove that root 2 is irrational then what we have to do then first of all there is a theorem that we need to know is that is we have if p if p is a prime number if p is a prime number And P divides a square, then P also divides a, where a is any positive integer. So to prove that a particular number is irrational, what we have to know that this theorem, if p is a prime number and p divides a square, then p also divides a where a is any positive integer. For example, if we talk about three, if three divides, if three divides fifteen square, fifteen square is what? Two twenty-five. So if three divides fifteen squared two twenty-five, then three will also divide fifteen, as we can see here. So this theorem is regarding this that if any prime number divides the square of any positive integer, then that prime number also divides that integer. So this is the theorem, and if we move towards the question that what we have to do so now if we have to prove root 2 is irrational then what we have to do we have to take our contradiction procedure now in contradiction procedure what we have to assume we have to assume the exact opposite what we have to prove to hum kya karna hai hum isme contradiction procedure lekar chalna hai aur isme kya hota hai hum वो कंडीशन लेकर चलते हैं जो कि हमें प्रूफ करनी है उसकी ऑपोजिट हो तो यहाँ पर हमें प्रूफ करना है दैट रूट टू इज इेशनल सो वी हैव टू टेक और वी हैव टू अज्यूम दैट रूट टू इज रेशनल नाउ इफ रूट टू इज रेशनल देन वी कैन रिटर्न इट इन दी फॉर्म आर अपॉन एस वेयर एस इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इन केस अगर R और S कोई ऐसे इंटीजर्स है जिनका कोई कॉमन फैक्टर है तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ R एंड S इज फोर एंड टू तो हमें पता है कि इसको अगर हम टू इन टू टू फॉर्म में लिख लें और इसको टू फॉर्म में लिख लें तो ये कैंसिल हो जाएंगे और हमारी फॉर्म क्या बचेगी तब बचेगी टू अपॉन वन इसका मतलब ये R और S में अगर कोई भी कॉमन फैक्टर है अदर देन वन देन लेट्स डिवाइड these common factors and make it in the form a upon b if r and s have common factors other than 1 then 
then we have divided by the common factor and make this uh, P upon Q form or A upon B form in the form that A and B are now co primes. A and B are co primes. Or co primes ka matlab kya hota hai? That they don't have any other factor other than one. A or B ka ab jo factor hai maare paas wo kya hai? Common factor sirf one hai. Kyunki agar hai maare paas R or S humne form na liya tha aur agar R or S ke koi common factor the to usko humne already divide kar diya usse. Ab ye kya form a gai? प्राइम फॉर्म आ गई यहाँ पर हमारी ए और बी क्या हो गए हमारे को प्राइम हो गए और अब इसका फैक्टर क्या है ए और बी का फैक्टर सिर्फ वन है कॉमन फैक्टर नाउ वी कैन रिटर्न इट एज रूट टू बी इज इक्वल्स टू ए नाउ स्क्वायरिंग बोथ साइड्स स्क्वायरिंग बोथ साइड्स व्हाट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट टू बी स्क्वायर is equals to a square. Now this 2b square is equals to a square denotes what? That that 2 divides a square. Agar a square upon 2b square ki form lik sakte hai, then we know that 2 can divide a square. Tabhi hamne isko is form me likha hai. And with the theorem that we have studied previously kya tha if any prime number divides a square then that prime number will divide a also so here we can say that 2 divides a now if 2 divides a we can written a as 2c we can written a as 2c as 2 divides a also now by first and second, if we put the value of a in first equation, then what we will get? 2b square is equals to 2c whole square, that is 4c square. And now, b, is, b square is equals to 2c square. Now, what does this mean? This means that 2 divides b square. 2 divides b square. And if 2 divides b square, then 2 divides b also. So, now what we get? That 2 divides a and 2 divides b too. This, this means what? This means that 2 is a common factor of a and b. 2 kya hai? 2 hamara common factor ho gaya A or B ka because 2 divides both of them. Aur humne yaha par jo condition li thi, wo kya li thi? That A and B are co-primes. Iska matlab tha ki A or B ka koi factor nahi hona chahiye other than 1. Koi common factor nahi hona chahiye. Jabki yaha par humne kya dekha? That 2 other than 1, 2 is a common factor of A and B and hence this contradicts our assumption. This contradicts our assumption that root 2 is rational. Therefore, root 2 is irrational. So, this is how we can prove that root 2 is irrational. I hope you have understood that how we can prove that a particular number is irrational and what are irrational numbers. If you video this video, तो लाइक, शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें और अगर कोई क्वेरी हो तो कमेंट बॉक्स में पूछें। थैंक यू एवरीवन।